When we think about how it might be different that students learn science in an online environment versus a brick and mortar, at a real basic level, there isn't a lot of difference. The skills that they're able to gain and the things that they're able to do when they complete a natural science program degree is very similar. Obviously, being in different areas all across the globe, it's different than a brick and mortar institution. At the university, we are innovative in being able to deliver the same competencies, the same techniques, the same skills that students would learn in any type of university, but they're able to do it at their pace, at their time, on their schedule, which is particularly useful for working adults and those that have busy schedules. In the natural science program, we have uh, the ability to have students complete labs in a variety of contexts. So one of the main things that we're able to do is we have hands-on science lab kits that are sent to students. And so those arrive at their homes and they're able to unpackage them and perform experiments and do different scientific techniques with those hands-on lab kits. And there's also other digital 3D imagery as well as simulation models that we use in some of our courses. In anatomy and physiology, they'll, uh, students will receive actual specimens, so for example, a brain specimen, and they'll dissect that specimen and be able to then demonstrate on a video their competency of the anatomy of that brain structure. Our program in the natural sciences, we have two emphasis. We have one in earth science and we have one in biology. And the standards that students learn are similar to those that they would gain in a brick and mortar institution. So the same uh, content and the same uh, skill sets they are gaining in our online degree program. Some of the goals of the natural science program are to prepare students to then uh, be able to be in a career of teaching, or some of our students then go on to graduate degrees in pre-professional, such as a PA program or an MD program, a dentistry program. And some of our students work as field biologists or earth scientists. In natural sciences, we take the rigor of science to be important and we work with our students so that they're able to communicate about science but also to have the technical skills that they need to accurately communicate their data, to analyze their data, to understand what needs to come next about data in the scientific process. And so coaching and mentoring someone like that both takes into account the content as well as critical thinking processes. When I teach students I want the projects that they're involved in, the papers that they're working on, for those to matter to them and for those to be able to work for them to accomplish their goals. So in science, it's really important to keep the curriculum current. That's the nature of science. Science is always changing. Data is being produced. Experiments are ongoing. Sometimes conclusions change. And so it's really important as faculty to stay current on what the the latest conclusions are and then to communicate that with students but we also work with students to understand that scientific process and understand how to look for new information and incorporate that into current scientific hypotheses and theories. I am really impressed by my students. I as I get to know my students and I realize all the things that they're juggling all of the demands that they have on their time and their energy, and that they have the per perseverance and determination to finish something that's important, to show those around them that what they do matters and that their education matters to them.